odd where it is because we have two trash cans right here, and I was putting it way out here, but look, kind of luckily, the, that one trash can had trash in it that's thinking like the high heaven when I came out here, uh, getting ready to do this. So I, uh, um, took it outside, set it outside. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go down here. Where am I gonna go? Way down there. Yeah. I'm trying. I always can't tell where I'm really <laughs> pointing. It's backwards. It's like looking in the mirror. No, it's not like looking in the mirror. It's backwards. Just, I'm just gonna. I know there's traffic, but for some reason it doesn't seem as loud right now as it usually does. It probably is. This mic I've noticed is pretty good. At least it was when it was wired. I don't know. It shouldn't make any difference going through the Bluetooth. Well, this is the other mics. This is the two lapels. Anyway, I was having pretty good luck with pretty loud noises not not being uh, bad. I've got my earplugs in my pocket. I don't know what I did with the little cover. I guess I'll find it. That's all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll have to read the instructions again. I guess I'll do that before. I, no, let's yeah, get some instructions out. First, I think... I don't think I'll be using the driver anymore. And I just remembered I left... This actually, yeah, okay. This one belongs in the other kit. I'll be hunting it, not able to find it. Well, I guess, I, I, and I always take the b batteries off when I'm not using them because they do, they will run down quicker if you leave them in the tool. figure out what's the best way to set that. I think I'm going crazy. How many times can I move that? Okay. I don't have a good a gooder place to set that. I'll put it right there for now. Oh, you got to turn it where you can see the Made in USA sticker. Look at that. I think they're actually made in USA with foreign components, so... Uh, but if you don't want to believe that, you know, if it makes you feel better, then go ahead, because we don't got much left to feel better about. We don't... Uh, we don't make... I, I still... I hardly believe in it, that all, all these parts I bought for this thing were... Uh, Looks like I put, yeah, this driver was out of that other kit, looks like. I'll put this one back in here. That's probably a better one. 
Yeah, this one belongs in here. And you gotta, I don't know, it's got to where I can't shut it without it. If I lift, lift those up, they all fall out. <laughs> you gotta go fast. Okay. Alright, so this one, after all that trouble, gotta take it out again. And I gotta take that out again. And now I gotta get to there. That's a craftsman, too. That was, oh, it was supposed to be in this driver here. I had taken it out. There we go. This is a pretty old set. My tools, I try to, well, I, when I'm working, I use them. But I do, I try to take care of them, but you know, you always do something. But, well, this is, I just bought this back in the summer. But, uh, like that set, it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's 20, 25 maybe, years old. Uh, still looks, most of the bits still look like new. Uh, I don't use my tools near as often as I did when I was younger. And so they've really been lasting. But I've got a Makita corded drill. Bought them when they first came to America back in the 80s. And uh, I used it for 30, 35 years. And then the cord, you know, in the wires inside, the cord broke. Uh, one, one of them, I think, and maybe two of them. It wouldn't, it wouldn't come on, so I knew it was probably wrong with it, so I checked it out. Cut that bad part off, wired it back up. And so that was about 20 years ago. <laughs> it's still working like new. But it's gotten a good break for the last 20 years or more. 25 years probably, really. All right, back to work. Shut up. Okay, stop your jabbering, Don. Screwdriver. There it is. What else? Needle nose? Well, generally, you do end up needing needle nose. Okay, needle nose. Screwdriver. I keep putting them in the pocket, taking them out. Well, the reason I keep taking them out, well, because I keep having to lay down on the floor on that side. Oh, I forgot to check this thing. When I sit on that phone, mom, pretty much, um, I'm, I have to put tie my shirt up so I can do that. I don't know why I came this way, but uh, the phone, i got to make sure it's still running and not damaged because it's kind of knocked out of its little holder. I got a little holder because this adapter for the mic, can you see any of that? This adapter for the mic, is this, it's two and a half inches long. and This holder is actually... The, the phone holder for a VR headset, I got one to, I actually got it thinking maybe I would use it, wear it, and sh make video from it, you know. Uh, and I, it made me want to throw up, I couldn't do it. Recording no, connected yes, okay. It seems to be fine, I hadn't been interrupted or anything. So, I'm getting dizzy. Hang it. But, uh, get that back in there. Yeah, sometimes whenever I'm squishing that phone by accident or bumping it, you know, it'll turn off. What I do is I, I hit the home button and it minimizes whatever app is in the window there. And that usually keeps it from going off, but sometimes it does anyway. Well, like the last time I, one of the, yeah, it was the last, one of the times I went in the house to take a little break, uh, I got it out to, uh, I think it's when I went in there to eat. I got it out to turn it off and charge it while I was eating. And uh, it had got down to about 68 or 65 or 68 percent, so it needed it. Because uh, I knew I'd be on it again for quite a while. Anyway, uh, some kind of Google thing had opened up, so I had, I'd bumped into something. And uh, it don't help that the batteries are swollen real bad, and I have to use, well, I'm using hair ponytail holders now they work better than rubber bands but uh to keep it together so it'll run all three i got three of these phones i got them for 15 dollars each at walmart three about three years ago or four let me get this open there we go there we go oh shoot. you want to break something yet doing that 
I didn't want to pull on the sharp edge because I didn't have my gloves on, so I pulled on the lid. Pulled it right off of there. I didn't know it would do that. Oh, I guess it would. That'd be the way to get it off of there. Didn't realize that. I, I got it off of there once already today. Oh, I want to put those covers on next before I'd even take the door off. Yeah, I'll put the covers on the back. And, uh... You know, I can take this shirt. I think I'm beginning to warm up because I got this long sleeve shirt on. I can take it off. Oh, that's plugged in. This don't work on it plugged in, okay? Look, be all right. Now, the, the light from the door, though, is blinding me. If I shove it, this, doing it again, let's see. Oh, no, that's okay. That's not the way to take it off. That's the way to, that it goes to put, put it on. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, there's no telling how much that noise is interfering with my, my video anyway. But, yeah, I think the fumes have come out long enough. But I'm going to take this shirt off because I'm, well, it might not be hot. Yeah, I think I'm hot. Okay. I, I was a f several hours this morning before this, I came out. Before you know, six thirty, sun wasn't up until seven thirty. I was not cold, and then I got out eleven or ten or something. I was freezing. Well, not freezing, but I was getting cold. And uh, so I put my flannel shirt on, and uh, let's see. I need my screws. Yeah, we're aiming good for me to, that as good as it needs to be, can be. Okay, the screws, those two, where do they go? Oh, they go on that back cover, so I don't have to have them right now. I don't have to, I was thinking, oh, do I need to take the front off first? Uh-oh, what, do, oh, I put, see now, I just took that shirt off, flipped it up over the clothesline there, and if it had those screws in there, I'd heard a little tinkle, tinkle, or bang, dinkle, dinkle, or whatever it would be. I'd have heard something that would have been a bad sound because it would have been down in there where I couldn't find them. So I've learned the hard way, slowly but surely, after 64 years of life, <laughs> that you don't always want to keep things in your pocket. Okay, there they go. Yeah, these two go for the front door. I still have a pocket I can use if I need to. And uh, it's handy while you're. Yeah, I've got. Where's that nut driver? I think that. Yeah, I think that's what I used to get these off with. Yeah, that should do fine. Except. No, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so where's the cover? There it is. Okay. Anything cool in there? The wires got pulled loose while I was yanking things around. It's unplugged. Okay. Okay, so it goes. It's got a little lip there, it looks like. I'm not sure. What, yeah, I think it goes like this. I'm not sure how you get those little. Oh, there we go. It do fit up in there. There we go. Not so bad after all. Where's that scratch all? I need it. That is the hardest thing to... Oh, come on, come on. I'm almost there. Okay. Hardest thing to carry with you. Well, I used to be able to... Oh, I do have a leather nail pouch. And it's really good for... I don't understand. Looks like that side is completely missing. I wonder if it's out of whack or what. Let me look. Yeah, the hole's way over there. It looks, no, that's not a hole. So if that's in place, why want it? Why isn't that hole in place? And if this one's in place, then why isn't that one? May be in place. 
Okay. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, that's a good place to leave it to get started. I think I can maybe we'll start them all from there. Okay. That's the wrong driver. It actually was turning it. I think it was just turning it by friction because it's way too big for that screw. Leave it loose enough to get the rest of them in there. Ugh. Oops, a little tighter than I wanted it. There. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's something that looks like a hole on the outside there. Oh, it is a hole. Let's see, it's, it goes down. <laughs> uh, but I thought, what the heck? It's not even, it's like half inch off of where, or three quarter inch off of where it needs to be even. <clears throat> But uh, it was not the place for the screw. Okay, I'm surprised that that goes right back on there that easy. But it had just sat right here all these years, so I guess it hadn't got warped too badly. <coughs> Another drink. Almost grabbed a towel to wipe my hands on. Bad habit. Well, you're in the garage, and if it's in the garage, it must be a, it must be for you know rags. <laughs> but I'm up here in the portion area, so it's not a rag. Hmm. Okay, that is the back. Okay, and then the very bottom cover. You know what? I might as well put it on while I've got. Let's see. Yeah, I've already tested it. I could take a look at it and make sure the belt didn't spin the wrong way or something. But, uh, take a look real quick. <gasps> After I got all cleaned up. Yep, it's good. So, yeah, I can put that on there now. Now that I got all cleaned up. I might be able to do it. Where are those screw holes? They're on the side. Okay. If I kind of come, oh yeah, that's how I messed up. Leave it right where it is. Messed up last time by pulling on that. I think that's how I got it off there last time. So I need that. I think I still need the quarter inch driver. I need my uh, driver thing again. So I'm just gonna dump them out. It's easier to sort through them up here than there's one. Oh, they're in the door. Can't put it on until I get them out of the door. Because I put them in the wrong place a while ago. Okay. I knew that. I was just testing you. You have to alternate between coffee and water. Even though the coffee's cold, it still feels good on my throat. Doesn't taste fantastic. It's not bad. Bad. But, uh, if I'm careful, I can move it back around without locking it back down and having to unlock it again. And I'm going to have to have it out far enough to get the lid up. Probably. Nope, that's not it yet. There we go. Okay. Yeah, when that screw's in there, that bracket in that screw, it doesn't lean when you're as far back. <laughs> but you still have to clear the pipe. Whoops. Yeah, that still won't hardly clear it. I thought I was way too far out. But it wasn't. Now my mic cables are to where I can get hung in them. I have stuck them under my shirt before. Yeah, I was getting a little overheated even. I actually felt more heat when I opened that door, I guess, from the sun shining in. Even though I got fresh air. Okay, now. 
this is yeah this is a little one and that actually goes in that back cover yeah I'm afraid, I'm going to get that nut driver, because I'm afraid that it does have a little magnetizing to it, magnetization, there it is, and uh, yeah, I'm going to put the ones that I use in my pocket, in my watch pocket, it's pretty deep and it'll hold stuff like that, see if this will... I don't do this very often, but uh, every time I do it, I think I got to magnetize all these tips or do <laughs> something. Uh, all these tips. There's a magnet in here, but it, it's not strong enough to make screws stay in there. Uh, or And also, I need to magnetize that quarter inch. I've only got the one. Usually, you have a whole set you know, of nut drivers like that, but I've, I don't know where I got that either. I think I might have got it. Come across. Got it by accident. You know, got mixed in with my tools when I was working somewhere or something. I don't really know. I don't have a clue anymore where I got that. I've had it for many years. I know that. Probably 20. I, you know, I pretty well think I remember it from 20. You know, have been around here for 20 years. So, let's see. I don't want the drum to come out so that can stay. And, uh,. What else? I'll get my gloves so I don't get cut up. So we're going to get this off. And then we're going to start putting that felt on there. Oh yeah, get the connectors off. Last time I had, I'd forgotten they were hanging there. Okay. And uh, what else we got to do? Those tabs. Oh, oh I thought it broke. Some. I, did I break it? I think it just came loose. Oh, I see came out of its spot. <laughs> How about that? It's there we go. It's really springy though. That's the clips that hold the door down, the top door. That's all it has is clips. But uh how are you really supposed to make those let go? I don't remember how I did it last time. Screwdriver or a pair of pliers or I think I just pried on it with a screwdriver. Let's see. Can't remember. Let's do this side first. That's the nut driver. That's why I don't keep it in that pocket. Oh. Put it over here. I don't think I'll be able to use it on the... Every time I reach in to get a screwdriver, I'll get that in that instead. Because it's about the same length as this, as this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that just pops out real easy. This one, I don't know. There we go. It comes off when you do that. Okay, I'll get it in a minute. Belt still looks good on top. Okay. So it didn't turn over. You don't want to let that belt turn over. It will not be good for your uh, belt. That looks like a good work, but work surface. <sighs> and I'm going to leave this off. It would be in the way because I've got it tucked right up under that overhang. So it will be in the way. Rope. That one's not breaking. That one did. These were gone. That's what. That's basically the bushing for the top of the... That is the bushing. That's what the drum rides on in the front and it's worn all the way through so oh I see this top one is a little thicker and the plastics on it there are two pieces this one this gray one doesn't make it all the way around well let's lay them out make sure they're the right size and everything and I think they are but I don't want to find out that after I ripped them off that they are actually the wrong ones or something. 